Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's Com Solutions Aruba Networks Tech Tip. Today, we're going to go through the process of upgrading an Aruba controller from the current version to a new version, as well as performing a complete backup so we can recover in the event we run into any issues. We're going to log into our controller on the maintenance tab, and uh, we can actually see on the image management uh, menu option that there are two partitions on the Aruba controller, partition 0, partition 1. Partition 0 is currently set as the default boot partition, which can be changed on the boot parameters menu. Um, and that has version 6.1.3.2 loaded. Partition 1 has a slightly older version, 6.1.3.1. Looking at this page does not tell us exactly which version we're currently running. So we'll go quickly back to the monitoring tab and look at what current version is running on the wireless LAN controller. So we are running on version 6.1.3.2. We'll go to our maintenance tab. And it's very important that we perform a complete backup and actually copy that backup off the box as well. So the flash backup.tar.gz file is the file that's created when we use this button to create a backup. When that backup is uh, created, it includes your configuration file, it includes um, your local user database, any of your licensing, as well as any RF plan data. We're going to then copy that file, which is the default selection from our flash file system by choosing that button and I'm going to actually copy it to an FTP server. And we're going to call this lab 620 backup. And today's date, 628. I try to keep the extensions just so that I can guarantee that I'll know what that file type is. We've successfully copied that file over. If I go to my lab directory where I've copied it, do a DIR, there's my lab backup. I've also recently downloaded the latest version of Aruba OS code that I'd like to install uh, for my 600 series controller, as well as the release notes. On the Aruba website, when you log in with a valid support contract uh, username and password, we can browse to the Aruba OS. I went to the current releases for the train that I'm currently in, which is version 613. Um, for the 600 series controller, there's a download, and as, you, uh, as I noted, I also downloaded the release notes. It's very important that you review the release notes. Um, for some updates, there will be changes to configuration options. There may also be some interim uh, upgrade processes you may have to go through. So we'll go back to our image management page, and we'll actually choose local file, because we actually have the file installed locally in the lab directory on my machine. I'll select that image. And then I'll choose, I actually do not want to update partition zero. That's the current version of code that I'm running. And I'd like to fall back to that if necessary. So I'll take partition one, which currently has an older version of code on it, and perform an update there. And I'll instruct the controller to reboot after I perform my upgrade. If you wish to reboot later, you can select no here. And then uh, at a later date, log in, choose the reboot controller option, and it'll boot the default boot partition. When performing one of these updates, one of the things that will happen automatically is if the uh, file transfer completes successfully, the boot partition will be changed for next boot to the one that you've just recently upgraded. So I'm going to also choose to not save the current config before reboot because I happen to know I've done a recent save config. So we'll now transfer the image file uh, to the controller. Um, this will actually take a few moments. The file sizes are rather large. This is actually about a 50 meg image. And uh, as soon as this is done, the controller will reboot. Um, stay tuned for a moment. And so welcome back to our tech tip. Uh, it appears that our controller has uh, rebooted and we're back at the login screen. We're going to verify that our controller is back up and running and uh, take a quick peek at the configuration again. So uh, log in here. Go to our monitoring tab, and we'll check on our controller, and we'll see that we're running version 6.1.3.3, and our update is uh, successful. Uh, if we went back to our network summary, we did note that the AP appears to be down. Uh, we can actually take a quick peek. One of the easiest ways to see what's happening, after a controller update, uh, the APs will actually go through a process to um, authorize themselves again. Uh, if control plane security is turned on, and then go through the process to actually update the image on the, on the AP itself. I'm going to simply check here real quick. 
our APs should be booting up and determining that they need to perform an image update. And we're going to keep an eye out here. It should be appearing any moment. There we go. We have an AP that is now in the process of upgrading. And after that AP finishes upgrading, it will come up in the normal status. So that kind of concludes our tech tip. Uh, please feel free to visit our website at www.comsolutions.com uh, or contact us, and we'll be happy to help you with any of your wireless LAN needs. Thank you again.